here we're going to access tail scale and uh, set up two clients so that they can so that we can access private resources uh, between them so the first thing you want to do is log into tail scale and if you don't have an account already you can log in with um, a Microsoft account a github account your Google account uh, for this tutorial I'm going to use my github account sign in okay so once you uh, sign up uh, you'll be ready to install your first client and the way that it works is uh, we're going to do a Linux one first so say we want to uh, connect one of our virtual private servers uh, to our local desktop or laptop uh, which I do a lot so here we're going to log into a private resource. Uh, this is an AWS server um, that I set up for this. And uh, we're going to install the TailScale client. Um, so to do that, we just copy the curl, uh, install, download, paste it here in the server. OK, so now we're ready to uh, tail scale up this is going to bring up the node now it's going to ask us to authenticate to tail scale Just copy the link. and we log in again Authorization successful. Now you can see in our um, tail scale dashboard, we have it's automatically found it. And if we look here, we can see that it's up. So now uh, under machines, we can see that we have one of the servers here, and we can come in and we can. Um, name this machine, give it a meaningful name. Okay, so we have our first node there. So now what we're going to do is we'll go over to a Windows machine. And on a Windows machine, uh, we can install the client. Same thing's going to happen. Uh, it's going to install the client, and then it's going to ask us to authenticate. authorization successful so now we have this icon down here um, gives us our node and a couple other items but it's connected so if we go back we can see now that we have two clients in here and the way that it works is it gives these private IPs here so these two private IPs that we have um, are accessible machines so <clears throat> stack 99 is the Windows machine so if I go to my AWS server I can ping that IP and you can see the uh, it on the virtual private server, it's added an interface tail scale zero. 
and it's given it the private IP. And the same thing on the Windows machine. On the Windows machine, it gave it a private IP as well. On a tail scale interface. And so now, no matter where you're at, this Windows machine will have access to the Linux machine using that private IP address. Now, another thing um, Tailsco allows you to do is to use a device as an exit node. And so to do that, we can come here and set our VPS and edit route settings. And now we can um, tell it that we want this machine to be an exit node. Or we can just add uh, routing here as well. Um, so to make it an exit node, there's a command that we have to do here on the server. So first you want to make sure that you've enabled IP forwarding. And we'll go ahead and can do this right now on this test server. Okay, and on this machine, uh, we don't have to worry about the firewall. So now what we want to do is we want to advertise Tailscale that this is an exit node. So when we bring it up, we want to tell it that it's an exit node. And that means that any resource will be, be allowed to use this as an exit node. So once we do that, now you can see this uh, switch is available. So if I switch that and say that advertise this as an exit node, now when I go to one of my clients, and I say exit node, you'll see that it shows up here. And so what that does is if we right here, say this is our IP address and if we use our exit node everything's going to route out the exit node should I'm on a slower connection so and, and going over the VPN but what it's doing is using that uh, VPS there and you'll see that now we're routing out um, this AWS server so now we can use that as an exit node um, not only can we use it as an exit node but we can use the internal IP address if we're doing some development or something like that or we just want to access resources on that machine um, that are secure and not open to the public so it acts more like it's a local resource and gives you access to it so it's a pretty handy pretty handy system to use I use it a lot